Well, an arrest has been made in the shooting death of a Duval High School student who jumped in front of a bullet to protect her brother. Nikki Zaza joins us now here in the studio tonight. And Nikki, what do we know about the suspect? Well, Vic and Denise, police say they have made an arrest in the deadly shooting of 16-year-old Jada Medrano Moore. And officials say their investigation led them to a 17-year-old from Glen Arden. In a news conference Friday afternoon, the Prince George's County Police Department announced they've made an arrest in the deadly shooting of 16-year-old Jada Medrano Moore. She was a bright student, a great athlete with even a brighter future. And now we know it was another juvenile armed with a gun who stole her future and shattered her family. The department's homicide unit arresting a 17-year-old male in connection to Moore's tragic death on September 11. A case followed by heartbreak still felt amongst investigators and officials. All of us are just speechless and we are just so devastated and so angry about the loss of Jada. It shouldn't have happened. It didn't have to happen. The arrest comes less than a week after detectives say they were called to the 9800 block of Palomar Drive, where a fight between two groups escalated. Detectives say the suspect pulled out a gun, and in an attempt to protect her younger brother, Moore was shot. She was a star in our community, and on the day of this incident, she was a star yet again and gave her life there, trying to defuse this particular incident. Investigative strategies and tips led to the suspect's arrest Thursday evening. As he faces first and second degree murder and assault, including a firearms charge, many are left with emptiness and shock. It seems like we are here way too often, and I'm frustrated that the violent few are disrupting the education and the promising future of our great children of Prince George's County. Even so, officials pleading for the community's help. Also, with the help of this community, we want to save lives. I love our young people. I care about them. I grew up in this community, too. Now, the suspect is facing charges as an adult. He is booked in the Department of Corrections without bond. Now, the police chief says the suspect had no prior criminal history. Back to you, Denise.